A brand spanking new Pop! OS 22.04 has been unleashed upon the masses. And with it comes... Dun, 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 GNOME 42 and all of the GNOME 42 wonderful little features. For example, a light and dark theme you can pick from in the appearance. There's the light. And that is quite bright, I must say. And we'll go back to dark. We have a folder icon theme update with a bluish type gradient. The system settings panel has been revamped. We have an assortment of nice new backgrounds, some specifically to pop and cosmic. You also get GNOME's very nice built-in screenshot tool, which also allows you to do a selection area Take a shot, screenshot by screen, take a screenshot for the window, and you can also screenshot screencast video. Along with GNOME 42 comes Linux Kernel 5.16.19. With the Linux Kernel 5.16, you can see a power performance boost for AMD powered laptops, improvement for Windows games running on Linux, display port 2.0, Initial support, also initial work for Intel Raptor Lake, also initial work for AMD's next-gen Ryzen 6000 mobile series, and many other improvements. In OS upgrade and recovery tool, you'll also find that there's now automatic updates. You can easily update and upgrade the system from this panel, and you can set automatic updates. You can schedule the day or time, and the automatic updates include Debian, Flatpak, and Nix packages. And the automatic updates also include Flatpaks. By default, the automatic updates are turned off, and you can tell Pop! OS how often you want to be reminded that there are updates available. Show update notifications, daily, monthly, or weekly. If you turn automatic updates on, it will cancel out your show update notifications and it will update automatically at the point in time that you specify. If you don't specify, at least on this system by default, it was weekdays at 10 p.m. You can change that. If you click on the next down button, there is a new support panel with easy, easy click buttons to go to the documentation, community support, and create log archives for support. There's also been some very nice performance upgrades to the Pop Shop. If you click Installed, it will show you what updates are available, drivers that you can install, and apps that are up to date. With Pop! OS 22.04, their launcher has received some upgrades. You can not only launch apps, but you can also find options for background appearance, workspaces, etc. One of the things that I am absolutely happy about is they now have Pipewire installed for audio processing instead of Pulse Audio. Pipewire is now default in Pop! OS. That is awesome. I've been using Pipewire for a couple of months now on my Manjaro, and I gotta say, it's it's a lot better. Other improvements to mention, they have improved multi-monitor support. They have fixed the layout on high DPI displays. You can now resume interrupted package updates when upgrading from Debian. Icons are now SVG based instead of being PNG based. That's cool. They should look better at any size in that case. I'll have a link in the description for a shortcut to Pop! OS. This release looks very promising.
If you like Pop! OS, I believe that you're going to really like this release. You should be able to upgrade by doing a do release upgrade. If you're on an LTS, then you probably have to wait until the point one release. Unless you want to jump in ahead of time with the hyphen D option. If you like what I do here, please like and subscribe and make an old truck driver happy. Until next time, thanks for watching.